She the one that did them. Yeah, they do. Uh huh. That'd be the thing. They don't care how long it lasts. Rubbing cocoa butter on my skin. Wondering what's up with y'all. What's up, YouTube? How you doing today? Figured you have to see me in my natural form because I'm so tired. I'm going to get back in the bed for a little while. I feel a little sluggish. I think because I took my herbs late at night. It's taking a while for them to work. But I'm moisturized. And I'm here. How you doing, YouTube? How is your day going? What is the topic for today? How about today's topic be love on your mommy. Love on your mother because you only get one. And it doesn't say your good mother or your bad mother. Just love on your mama. Buy her some flowers or a gift. Um, call her and tell her you love her. Be extra nice to your mommy today. It's not Mother's Day, but hey, one day a year is definitely not enough to express how much mothers do. Um, it is a payless job, a thankless job. All you do is get hollered at and kicked and screamed and spit it and shit it on, but being a mother, it's a priceless experience. It definitely is. Giving birth having a child, loving on child, then they grow up and turn into rotten spoiled brats. <laughs> but that's not the case for all children. I have some children who love me very much and then I have some children who don't really care for me. And that's their problem. I've adopted tons of children, loved on most of my family. Oh here, <laughs> loved on my family and their children. <laughs> been there for others that haven't been there for me, but guess what? I'm going to get my glory in the end because my painful story reveals God's glory and His goodness and mercy in my life. So all I can say is, okie dokie, all I can say is I appreciate the Lord for bringing me this far. I'm thankful for the little family that I do have because foster care will show you how much family means. When you go through that system and you see what it does to others. And um, I thank God for my foster mom, Mama Hen. I'm glad to have a relationship with my biological mother, Cookie. Um, I'm only saying her nicknames because I don't want people who don't know me to try to go find my biological mother and give her any type of stress. Because if it wasn't for Cookie, then Candy wouldn't be here. And by the way, you guys, I'm going to change the way my page tag is because I guess it is hard for some of you to really find me. And I want to be found. I want to be found. Time to get my nails did, too. Mm -hmm. And cut back down low. I'm going to rock short, short, short nails. So much easier to do everything with them. It's easy to do it with long nails, too, but it's a whole lot easier with shorter. Love on your mama, love on your biological, your foster, your adopted, your custodial by law, your uh, guardian, your grandma, great grandma, your mama, mama, your new new na, whoever. Love on the woman in your life that's taking care of you and nurturing you and nourishing you and educating you and teaching you morally correct ways of being. It's not easy. No, I'm pretty sure a lot of women did not ask to be mothers. But guess what? Just because you didn't ask to be one 
doesn't mean you're not supposed to be respected as one. And just because you didn't give birth doesn't mean that you're not a mom. I had to tell this to many women that I know because having a baby shoot up out your cooch snatch is not just what makes you a mama, okay? It's pouring into that child, loving on that child, like I said, all the things before previously. You can't just have a child and then say, okay, shut it, go away, leave me alone forever. And then expect people to say, oh, you're such a great mom. You gave birth to your mother, right? Oh, loving on, caring for, being there, all of that is what makes a person a mom. And this is my first time doing a YouTube <laughs> I didn't feel like getting super pretty today. I didn't feel like putting on any wigs today. I didn't feel like doing anything but washing up, putting on t-shirt and shorts. And ta-da! Y'all ever heard that song? ta I love that song. T-A-D-O-W. ta baby. I love it, I love it, I like it, I love it. We will be finishing up a documentary February. So all of you who want to come see us in Miami, come to Miami, Miami, Florida. And uh bring it on in with us. It will be H D Clark's birthday, so bring down some birthday gifts. What I do with my books? I had them in my hand a little while ago. Let me get my book. Check these out. Ooh, pillow just fell. Check these out. The dance guys. Get with it, right? H D Clark, this book is very excellent. I recommend it. Read it, read it, read it. I read it in one night, okay? Stayed up one whole night and read it. Yeah. His next one, let me put that on my book show. His next one is Backfire. I don't know which sequence they came out, but all I know is this book is good, too. This one really took me back in time to Veils and the Body Blast and everything. And um, <laughs> it was like a lot of me in this book because... I'm my father's daughter, not my mother's daughter. I'm a dad girl, so I'm just like my daddy, act like my daddy. My dad used to say all the time, how did God give me a child? That's a girl that acts just like me. Lord, have mercy on my head. So, yeah, this book, get it. And that's Luke, Mr. Clark. Check it out. I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot of light on over here. You know, all I got is this one ring light, and um, I don't want to turn all that light off, because I want to get back in the bed and take me just some rest, and, you know, I just, I just want to rest before things get super hectic in my life again. Nothing wrong with that, right? You know, I run around, run around, run around, I do a lot, I be tired. Then, like the next few days, I might not do a whole bunch, but when the weather is super cold outside and it's snowing and it's windy and it's just like, these were the best times to go to the club. He and used to tell me that. He would say, Candy, that when it ain't nothing to do, that's when everybody want to come out and do something. And he was right because we would be thinking, like, you're going to go. You're going to have a body blast tonight. It's a snowstorm. Nobody's going to come out. But you best believe Bells on the Circle will be jam-packed for blocks and blocks and blocks. Okay? Cars parking all over at the gas station by the Togo and everything. And, um, yes, there used to be a gas station right there on that corner by the Togo. I don't know why they took it away. But, uh, memories. Okay, I have such great memories. I could literally sit up and give you tons and tons and hundreds of doggone memories. And you would be like, wait a minute, what? 
I never knew she was alive even back then. I didn't even know all that stuff was going on back then. You mean to tell me Candy was in the building when that happened? Oh. I get around. <laughs> That's like Tupac's song say. I got around, just not in and out of sex a whole lot, but I got around to different areas and uh, around male review shows and female review shows and at the uh, DJ DJ spinoffs. Where it would be one DJ on that side of the room, one DJ on that side of the room, and they would be. Oh yeah, baby, we used to be at all of it. We used to be at the plays, the comedy shows, out of town, anywhere you can think of. Candy and Ecstasy were the J P Z and Beyonce and the night. And we did the darn thing, honey. We were a power couple. Power couple, baby. Power of the hour. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, honey. We got in. We went everywhere and did everything. And I ain't mad. Anybody who think I'm mad because they talking to ecstasy, no longer my problem. That's his wife's problem. I left him in 1997. So that goes to show how long Candy hasn't been thinking about it. But like I told everybody at the trailer, love doesn't die. It just turns into respect if you ever really cared about the person. Have a great day. That's enough of me and my bonnet. Time to go live for a little while, and then I can lay down and relax myself. Hey!